guys. February 13th. Trading that has come to a close. We'll go back through price action and see what we were looking at for the day. Uh, we are currently at the 1020 candle. It's a 1025 and 1030. So we are officially past the first hour of the RDR session. So we are now waiting and looking for a confirmation. All right, which we have here. Here's our confirmation candle. And the next one pops up our drawings. So let's go through the uh, DR lens data. Okay, so we have our DR lens here. We have it filtered to Monday since today is Monday the 13th. We had our confirmation candle at 10.45. So between 10.30 and 11, we have our rule is true. Confirmation is long. And go through the information. So we have our uh, extensions, standard deviation extensions. We got 1.1, 1 .1, 5, 6. So we have 1.1 and then between 5 and 7. So let's go back to our chart. So we have our 1 to 1 1.1 approximately. And then our 5, 6 to 7. And then 5. All right. Let's do that. Make sure we are labeled properly. Okay. So let's go back to lens again. All right. Medium retracement. Now, since we haven't hit 0.5 yet, we're going to look at our uh, medium retracements and our medium retracements for high uh, high of the session or low of the session. So as we could see here, we have open our uh, max retracement distribution, and we're looking at 0 to 0 0.1. Uh, it's pretty heavily favored there. And going into our max retracement for the uh, high low of the session is the same at 0 0.1. And then negative 1 to 2. So roughly the same areas for those two. Okay, so zero to one. And then one to two. So let's pinch our chart a little bit here. Let's take a look at what type of um, model we have. So we are looking at an upward expansion model because the uh, levels respected the 50% of each of the uh, previous sessions. And the other thing we want to look is we want to look at where our targets align. And since we are in an upward expansion, we're looking for buys. And we have a buy confirmation. So we're hoping today, with Monday being a very trendy day, we will get some type of buy situation. So we have key levels uh, that align with our standard deviation extensions. We have this one here. This one here. This cluster here. And then this cluster up here, which will go there. So key levels of previous sessions, whether it's the DR, the IDR, the halfway, um, they are targets to look at. And then we also, within our start here, obviously we have our 50%, which we've uh, come up to here from this previous session. And then the other... Um, areas right here. So we'll just half that in the catch that in the middle. Those two. So as we can see, we have a ton of key levels uh, directly above. So price will uh, react accordingly off of those. 
Uh, let's put on our drib. Okay, we also have key levels of our uh, volume imbalances up here right in between four and five and then up here over R1 but then we also have them below our max retracement. So now that we have our confirmation we have some of our levels let's go back into the air lens and let's look at our timing. So we have our push up at 1030 and we have our uh, big extension uh, for the morning or early afternoon uh, at 11. So let's mark that out of around 11. Okay. Then we have another one at roughly 1330. And then we'll go back to it one more time. And then we have our big push towards the end of the session. So starting at around uh, 1530. Okay. Hmm. Why did those go down there? Let's fix that. Okay. Oh, that's because I put it down here. So let us fix this real quick. Thirteen thirty. And then this one is at eleven. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, retracements. Uh, we have one of our biggest retracements is going to be between 1040 and 11. It looks like around 1045 to 1050. So 1050 is right here. So let's go ahead and mark that out. 1050. That's going to be one of our uh, retracement times. Uh, then we would have another one at roughly... 1120 to 1130 and then should have one roughly around 1250 and then our 1450 is our next high so this is seven this is seven so 1450 okay so let's fix these so they're nice and labeled right all right so we have all our levels on the chart so that way we can go through. We have our key levels from our previous sessions all lined out. And we are going to go ahead and start watching price action. So we have our first level where we would be looking at our retracement time. And we're also coming into one of our max retracements or max extension times. Okay, as you can see, we are respecting our key levels. We've pushed through. We are respecting the next key level. Once again, respecting it, tapping nicely into this volume imbalance. And we are coming back down. So knowing that we are in a upward expansion model, we have a up... Uh, a buy confirmation or a long confirmation. Uh, we are respecting our key levels. We have our VIB that was just previously tapped. So now we are going to look. Our first area that we're going to be looking at 
is this area right here if price decides to come down to it. Okay, as you can see, we're getting pretty exhausted here down here on the tick grid with our next candle. And that would be it. So our first entry would be here. Should have been down here, but we wanted to ensure that what we were doing uh, or what we were seeing was actually true. And then since we are respecting our key levels, let's go for our push of our key levels. Our stop would be two ticks below the first key level, so one, two, and it's also below this. It's a great push up. Okay, see price is coming back in. Okay, as you can see, prices bouncing around our key levels from our previous sessions. We're pushing up. Our price would be we would go break even here uh, or move our stop up to around this level right here. Since price is respecting. Okay, so if you had your stop right below here, you st would still be in. Okay, we're coming towards our one of our max extension times, which beautifully took us out of our trade to hit our profit target directly at our max extension time. So right there, we are looking at a one to three. So we'll let price play itself out. Notice how we have respected our zones. We finally had our first breakthrough to go above our next zone. So the next place we would be looking potentially would be up here for this next standard deviation extension. Okay, price looks to be making a big push down. We are becoming towards the lower end of our tick grid. As we can see, we have a lower low here than this previous point right here. So with price being higher and the tick grid being lower, that is a good sign that we are slowly becoming exhausted, but we are staying above. Okay, prices come down. As you can see, price is coming down in this fashion, but price on our tick grid is going up like that, indicating that we are looking for a change of direction. So let's go for our next candle. As we can see, we're still going up. We've made a good push up. Price is still going to the upside. Okay, we've come back in. Definitely would have preferred to have an entry in right here because we had our one, two, three rejections. Uh, so we'll get in a little late on this one, but that's okay. Our stop will be two ticks below. And then we will aim for a new high but also watching out for the end of the day another thing to look at here is our retracement time window hit right here and as you can see 
we've basically come to one of our lowest points. Even on our tick grid, we saw that we had a, um, a change of direction in our tick grid and a divergence between the two, showing that we wanted to go back up to the upside. So now we'll play price out, and obviously we want to watch for our you know, 355 candle because we need to close out of our trade. Let's play price on. Okay, we're at our 340 candle, 345, 350, our 355 candle, and we would close out of our trade on this candle itself, giving us another 2.5. So altogether for the day, we're looking at a roughly around around 5R, uh, depending on where you got in around here. Uh, like I said, we had our 1, 2, 3 rejections here with our divergence, uh, with our max retracement zone, and we would have been definitely safe to put in a trade right here, risking the, the 1R, mainly because we also had the 3R uh, win previous, so, but for the day, 5R is not a bad day. I hope you guys were able to learn a little thing from here. And I will see you next time.